All right, so I've had these two pieces for a while. I found the first one with my buddy Ross. Um, in, at the Amherst Walmart years ago, a couple of years ago. And so these are chase pieces, limited to 500. Instead of being snow white or refrigerator white or whatever you want to call it, these two are dusty, just like the Vanishing Point Challenger. So this is from the movie Vanishing Point. At the end, they blow up. They destroy a 1967 Camaro. It's not a charger that actually goes, blasts into the bulldozer. It's Camaro, which goes to show you the, the Challenger did borrow the Camaro styling to a large degree. That was always my problem with some of the Mopars as a kid, is they copied some of the GM stuff, but at the same time, they brought a whole new flair to that design. The Japanese were way more... They plagiarized way, way more. But anyway, so this one, they're both different. Um, this one on the bottom has dustier wheels. This one has a, there's more red clay dust shit, whatever, on the roof. I think I'm going to keep the top box because it's a tiny bit collapsed. Actually, well, Jeff doesn't care, though. I don't know. My buddy Jeff's going to get one of these for Christmas. He's actually trading me something, but... I was going to call it a Christmas present, just give it to him. Um, I don't know. They're both cool. This one has more dust on the edge of the door. This one has more dust in the middle of the door and on the, on the roof. I don't know which one to give him. Just going to pick it random. I'll keep the slightly collapsed box because I'll never keep them in. I, I won't keep them in the lot, in box long term. Eventually down the line I'll open it up. I'll put it out of the box. So anyway, here's two of them. Isn't that cool? For the past year and a half or so, I've had two of these things. And it wasn't because I'm a hoarder. I was just waiting to give it to my buddy because he's a huge Mopar guy. I always kind of knew he'd end up with one of them when I got the second one. And I don't know which one I found, by the way. I don't know which one is the one I found. That's the one I'd like to keep because the other one came from my buddy... Uh, mass diecast. So Sean hooked me up with one of these, actually. I didn't tell that part of the story, I guess. So one I got from Sean, one from... Um, one I actually found myself. And like I said, they're all... They're all a little different. They're all a little unique. This one has more dirt around the ram air scoops than this one. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. In some ways, I think this one's better because it's got more dust on the hood, the ram air scoops and the leading edge of the door. But then this one, there's more red dust and clay, whatever it's supposed to be, dust basically. There's more of it on the roof and on the middle of the door. So, I don't know. can't pick. This box is a little more rough. I'll give Jeff the nicer one of the two. And I'll keep the one that's... Because I, I don't mind. I don't think he cares either. He's probably going to open it. Good for him. It is one in 500 though. Look at that.